Hello my dear friends, my name is Sanne and welcome back to another beauty video. It's been a little while since the last one, but today I finally have another three looks on palette for you guys, which is always one of my favorite videos to film. It allows me to be fully creative and try out all my new palettes, so I'm always very excited about it. So it's kind of sad that it's been a tiny bit, but we're back with the three looks on palette. And today we are going to be talking about the Shall We Makeup Mist Witch palette, which I am so excited to have in my hands. The lovely people from Shall We Makeup ended up sending this to me in PR, which I am very grateful for. They are not sponsoring this video, this video is just me, but they did send this to me in PR, so just so you know. But yeah, I've, I've been wanting this palette ever since I first laid eyes on it, when they announced it back in October, um, and I was just tempted. I was always just hovering over that little order button you know i haven't been buying any makeup recently basically so it just it, basically the spending money kind of helped me back so the fact that they then ended up sending it to me i'm very very grateful and very happy because this is an absolutely stunning looking palette and i'm so excited to try it out so let's have a little look at it first this is the front cover art which is the most stunning cover art i've ever seen it is totally my vibes, <laughs> completely like Halloween, spooky, creepy, fun vibes. I love it so much. And then it comes in a little sleeve, which you can take off. This packaging is the exact same. It also just feels really nice. I feel like they've been really working on updating all their packaging and product quality and whatever. And then when you open it, this is on the inside. And a little protective sleeve. And then we have these absolutely stunning shades. And just for fun, as you can see, these shades are magnetic, so you can take them out and also replace them with different shades. So you can have like a little fun build your own palette moment. They don't have stickers with the names on the back, because I don't think the shades actually have names. I haven't seen them anywhere, so I will just call them by numbers, you know. Which is basically the only downside. I like it when the palette has shade names, because then I can just easily tell people what I'm using instead of having to be like, yeah, I used shade one, two, three, four, number four, you know? It's just nicer to have shade names. So that's my only critique. Look at this absolutely beautiful, stunning color story. We have four true mattes. One, this black is a bit more of like a satiny vibe. Well, according to the back, we have metallic and multi-chrome eyeshadows. I'm just trying to figure out which is which, but I think at least this one, this one, and this one are just the metallic shades. But between these two, I think either, I think both of them are considered multi-chrome. And they are very, very different, but this, this green, I'm so excited about that. Because here you can see in the reflection that it has a bit of a bluish uh, shift to it. You can see it shift. So I think that's definitely the multi-chrome, but I'm not too sure about this one. Because it does have a bit of a shift to it, but it might just be a generic metallic. I don't know. Anyways, we have some beautiful shades in there. I like that we have a sort of equal division between shimmers and mattes. In my opinion, makes it quite easy to work with. So I'm excited about that. And I like that we have mostly cool tone shades. I freaking love cool tone shades. I'm a bit curious about that green. It looks stunning. But also, you wouldn't say that it fits very well in the color story. So, you know, we need to find some creative ways to um, work that into the rest of the shades. But it is a beautiful shade. And just so you know, Shall We Makeup is a Chinese indie brand. It's cruelty-free. We love to see it. And they just have very, very fun, basically, typically indie brand unique palettes and concepts. I love it. And I can't wait to play with this. So let's quickly get into look number one. Okay, so for this one, I really want to dive into those beautiful cool tones and blues that I'm seeing. I don't know, they've been calling to me the entire time. So I want to get into those first. So I'm gonna try and do a look with uh, this shade, this shade, and this sh blue shade over here. So let's see what I can do with that. And this is going to be decently easy. I'm not going to make it too complicated. But to get started, I want to get into this beautiful cool tone purple matte. Which looks like an absolutely stunning shade. So I want to get into that one first. So I'm going to dive into a little angled eyeliner brush. And this one is extremely pigmented. I'm going to be a bit careful starting out. But we want to draw... Oh, that 
oh, so easy. A little liner moment that we're gonna blend and we're gonna make it nice and big. And what I like to do is I like to pack on the shade a bit first just to get that real pigment because it's only a small area that you're working with of course. And then I want to go in with a smaller brush and kind of blend it out. So I'm gonna get into a very small fluffy brush and I'm gonna go into that same shade. Keep it light though. And I'm gonna work those edges. And with blending something like this, I want to go a tiny bit slow and steady. Because I feel like when you're using a bigger brush and you take a little bit less time with it, you can go overboard quite a bit and then you lose that shape that you're creating. And we're working hard on that shape, so we don't want to lose it. Okay, I think we're going to keep it here for now. The smokiness. Then I'm going to get into that beautiful br brown. The beautiful blue shimmer that we have over here. I'm gonna see how well it works with a bit of a brush, but I don't think it's that great. Maybe I'll use my silicone brush. Okay, and I'm just gonna apply that right there and flaking all over the place. That's fine, that's whatever. I don't want to use a brush because I want a tiny bit of control over where I'm placing the shade. I am experiencing some fallout currently. I'm blending that into that purple shade over there. So we have a nice little blended moment going on. And then we're gonna continue that with this insane blue. <laughs> what's, it, what's it called? It's, um, it's a beautiful iridescent blue shade. I'm gonna pack that in the inner corner, that's, I don't know if you can see that, but that's an absolutely bright blue. I'm just blending that into the previous shade and blending it out a bit. And then I just need to go in with my fingers to do the inner corner, I think. Because this one is just wild. Beautiful. I don't know if, how well the camera captures how blue it actually looks, but Trust me, this is like blue, blue. And it does have a pink shift. Like when I'm looking at it on this side, when the lighting is on it uh, from a different angle, it's pink. Trust me on that. <laughs> Just going back in with that purple to really blend it a tiny bit more. Maybe make that wing a tiny bit bigger. Okay, and I think that's gonna be it so far for the first look. So I'm quickly gonna copy it on the other eye and add everything that I want to add to it. And then I'll be right back with you with the finished look already. Okay, I'm back with the finished look. We have some absolutely stunning shimmer shades going on on my eyes. This is very fun. On my lips, I'm wearing a combination of things. I'm first of all wearing the Cara Beauty Line Up Lip Liner in... Okay, this is the shade Claudia. Then I put on top the Essence Extreme Shine Volume Lip Gloss in 106 Sugar Rush. And then a tiny bit into in the center for interest, but I feel like it's already blended out a bit. I put the NYX Shimmering Waters Lip Gloss from the Avatar Collection. So it's like a tiny bit bluish. And then this insane highlighter is the Kaleidos Moon Cruiser highlighter. She's just right there when you need her. So yeah, those were all the things that I added and that's three out of the 10 shadows done so far. I'm loving it. The shimmers are really, they have a really great bit of a flaky texture, but that's my personal favorite texture. It's flaky, but it isn't dry. They apply really easily with your fingers or a flat brush, maybe wet the brush a tiny bit. And the matte, like, I didn't blend it into anything. This is just a deep pigmented matte and I just blended it into my skin. I didn't use a transition shade or anything. So it just blends beautifully. It also really didn't take long. So, so far, really excited about these shades. Let's quickly get into some more. Okay, so for the second look, I mainly want to get into this top row 
of course without the blue shade because we've already used it but these four shades i think we need to try them i'm gonna get started with the deepest shade that i'm gonna use which is this one in the center the deep purple and i'm gonna use a bit of a smaller fluffy brush and i'm gonna create a fun little halo eye so i'm gonna tap that in the inner and outer corner of the eye and as you can see the pigment is there immediately there is no question about it it's there and now i want to blend it outwards a tiny bit so i'm going in with the slightly lighter shade which is this reddish one in the outer corner and I'm gonna build that up around it a tiny bit. And this is just the first layer. We can go back in with all the shades later as we want. This one is a lot drier. I felt that when swatching as well. So I feel like this is the shade with the least, like the, the worst quality in the palette. But as you can see, there's still quite some pigment coming off. Really not complaining. But yeah, this one is a bit drier and a tiny bit harder to work with, but... And we're rounding out this corner a tiny bit. Okay, and then to really blend it out and work it, I'm going into this light matte shade that we have over here, which is a lot more pigmented. I'm going to move that right next to it again. We got some immediate pigmentation. It's basically covering up the darker shades underneath. So you could say that this is a pigmented shade. So I'm just going to layer it on top a tiny bit and then we can blend it and work it uh, after that okay so we gotta make sure that this light shade is the shade that we're actually working into the skin for me that's the easiest because this one is of course closest to my skin tone so for me that would be a really good transition shade and as you can see that blends like a dream there really is absolutely no effort involved I just slightly go over that and it's blended into the skin. That's really, really nice. I'm really enjoying this blend so far. It's also only been a few minutes and I already have this going without that much effort. Loving it so far. Then I just go back in with the deeper shades a tiny bit and blend those outwards. But yeah, I think so far that reddish shade is the lowest quality. That one is not particularly my favorite but maybe it's good for more like day-to-day -day wear some lighter pigmentation maybe it's easier to blend for like simpler looks and maybe it's just not meant for what I'm doing right now let's go into the deep purple shade once again to really build up that pigmentation working it into the center a tiny bit so a bit more of a gradient going on over there I feel like all of the shades in this palette turn up a lot more cool toned on my eyes than they do in the palette. Uh, which for me is definitely a pro because I freaking love cool tones. I think it's also mainly just because my skin is very cool toned. So we can just go back and forth with some of the shades. And as you can see that light shade just layers on top of those deeper shades and I think that's really nice because that makes them really easy to blend. Okay so you have all that, all of that pigment, you have barely any fallout, so easy to do, it took me about 10 minutes, wonderful, I'm not complaining. So now we can add some sparkles on top which is of course my favorite part. So I'm gonna go into this shimmer right here, like I said I am a bit disappointment, disappointment, I am not disappointment, I'm a bit disappointed that these shades don't have shade names. That really elevates the experience for me. So they're not sticking great. They're quite flaky. So what I want to do for the other eye is go into a bit of a glitter glue. A glitter primer. This is the Technique Glitter Primer. I like how sticky this one turns. So I have a bit more of a sticky base now. Let's try that again. That is so, so shiny. Like when they say these shadows are metallic, they do truly mean metallic. Yeah, you can see the difference between both eyes. This one is a lot thicker, more flaky. And then this one is a lot more just smooth. So maybe a glitter primer is wanted when applying these shimmers. And of course, we're doing the same on the lower lash. And I like to bring my shimmers all the way up to the brow when I'm doing a halo eye. I like the dramatic effect. And then I want to get into the final shimmer which is this one. And I just want to place that right 
on the inner corner just for an extra pop. And up close you can tell that these two shimmers just have slightly different tones. This one is a bit more like cool toned and the other one is a bit more tiny bit more golden toned. So there's a slight difference in tones there. It also feels like the other one is more of like a general silver, like gold silver shimmer. And this one that I'm just applying now, it's more of when you look up close a mix between greenish and pinkish shimmers. So they do look slightly different. And then because here we have some weird overlap with the shimmers and the mattes, I do like to go in with the mattes a bit on the end just to blend away some mistakes basically okay so i think this is what we'll have okay so i think that's gonna be it i'm just gonna add everything that i want to add to this look and then i'll be right back with you okay i'm back i'm not wearing any highlighter i knew i was forgetting something well, that's sparkly i'm using the this one does have a tiny bit of a cast you can see that right i'm using the shall we makeup what is it called present highlighter palette which they also sent me together with the Miss Witch palette. So, of course, I need to try these highlighters. And she's also adorable. But, ooh. ooh. Anyway, now I'm done. Now I'm back with the finished look. Let's see, what did I add? Like I said, I added the Shall We Make a Present Highlighter palette. I have some Kiss My Lash But Better Lashes in the style So Real. And then on my lips, I'm wearing a fun combo, which is... I did a combination of an eye pencil and a lipstick just to get the perfect tones. The eye pencil, of course I'm gonna clean it afterwards so I can use it on my eyes again, but the one that I'm using is the Color Eyeliner in Enchanted by Max & Moore, which is just a beautiful dark purple, cool tone purple. And then in the center I'm wearing the Wet n Wild Stardust Lip Mousse in On Candy Cloud 9. And I think this is a great color combo for the lips actually i'm really enjoying it so yeah this is the finished look we're looking very dark and grungy but also very sparkly and i'm loving it and this is so easy to do the blending was just phenomenal so far i am really impressed by this palette i can't wait to play with it more so yeah let's quickly try the final shades in the palette okay i'm all ready to get into the final look the base is done and we just have two shades left of this palette. So for this look, I really want to dive into just those two shades. The two shades that were missing. The bright green and that interesting blackish shade. And I just really want to see how that black shade performs. So we're going to start with that one and then basically top it up with the green and create a very interesting look hopefully and i do want to focus a bit on an interesting shape so i'm gonna get started with that so i'm going into that black shade uh, with a small eyeliner brush and i'm gonna draw a little rounded shape over here and then for the interesting part basically i'm gonna start right next to that shape i'm gonna start a sort of new shape and i'm gonna make a nice little wing so this is the basic shape that we're going for and now i'm gonna fill it in and then blend stuff out and i'm gonna keep using that black shade and as you can see it's quite pigmented but it's not immediately as a big oomph as a matte black you know so i think this would make it a bit easier to blend and use with the other shades as well and it's quite a creamy consistency to it so i'm gonna fill up the lid with this shade and as you can see that's really easy and it's just you know slightly less intense than a full black shade and once we have that i'm gonna use a bit of a fluffier brush and i'm gonna I'm gonna use a different one. I'm gonna use a bit of a fluffier brush and I'm gonna try to blend the inner part of my crease because I just want to see how this shade blends, if we can even blend it or not. But I think that's really not that bad. That's actually going quite easy. And I don't want to go overboard because I want to like blend it into this more neater edge that we have over here you know i really enjoy seeing how easy this black shade performs it's wild there's also not that much fallout so that's also really good okay so we have the interesting shape down and now 
I'm gonna cover it up with that insane green shade. I'm also gonna wait. I'm gonna first grab a bit of an extra fluffy brush and just go over that edge to really blend it and fluff it up. If you want to make sure that it's really blended, you can go in with a powder that's close to your skin tone. So just your regular face powder or something and use that to blend it in, <clears throat> which is the best thing to do, especially if there's no transition shade in the palette itself. And I feel like there's not this transition shade that I would want to use with this look, so. But in general, this shade already blends beautifully without using a transition shade to begin with, so. So now we're going to the interesting part and I'm gonna go into this green, which is a beautiful multi-chrome metallic green that it shifts to like a bluish purplish shade. And I'm just gonna apply that right on top. Let me use my fingers for that a bit. Ooh, in, ooh, look at that. It also just layers beautifully on top of this black shade. I think that looks really cool. I just want as much of this insane sparkle as possible. Okay, so I want to make sure that this separation in there is actually really neat and clean. So I'm just gonna go in with some concealer to clean that up a bit. Just a thin liner brush and some concealer will do. That will just help to clean up those edges a bit. Okay, so that is the main look done. Very easy, but I would just really wanted this insane shimmer to shine. So I'm just gonna add everything that I want to add to this look and then I'll be right back with you with the finished final look. Okay, I'm back with the finished look. We're looking all sorts of grungy and smoky and I'm loving it. This green shade, just magical. Just look how that suddenly appears and then disappears and then, oh. Oh, beautiful. Everything that I've added to this look, we're staying mostly in the Chinese beauty brand vibe. So for most of my base, I also used Shall We Makeup. So I used the Shall We Makeup Lip and Cheek Mud in Love Story, both for my cheeks and my lips. And then as a highlight, I used the green shade from the Present Highlighter Palette from Shall We Makeup as well, which is looking all sorts of glamorous. And then I added some eyeliner in my waterline. I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, and this is the Girl Curled, Girl Cult, Girl, I still cannot pronounce this. Girl Cult Eyeliner Eye Pencil, one of their multi-chromatic eye pencils. Don't know what shade it is. I'll put it in the description because it's not on the packaging anywhere. And then the lashes are by Essence. Where do I have them? They're the lash like a boss lashes in the style Limitless. That's the look. I'm loving it. I, so far, with the three looks that I've done in this video, this palette is just so easy to work with. It's so pigmented. The shimmers are so beautiful, but it's just generally very easy to work with. Like the three looks that I've done so far, they barely took any time, even though they were quite like extravagant um, creative looks as well. They barely took any time for me, so, so far, I'm loving it. Uh, I can't wait to play with the color story even more. Basically, the only notes that I have is that I, like, I personally don't like it when a palette doesn't have any shade names, so that's a bit of a con for me. Um, these two shimmers are quite similar. I feel like on the eyes, you might not really see a difference, so that's a bit too bad. And then this matte is a bit more on the dry side compared to the other shades, so it's a tiny bit more difficult to work with. Um, but still very doable. And overall, all the mattes are creamy. They're super easy to blend. I'm loving this black satin shade because it's so easy to blend out and create a smoky look with. So really no big complaints. It's so easy to work with. The shades are beautiful. It's a beautiful cool tones color story with some very extravagant shimmers that really stand out. So, so far I'm really loving this palette. And just so you know, there's also a mini version. I don't have it here because I'm saving it to give to a friend, but I just want to show you how big the pans are in that version because I do have other minis by Shall We Makeup. Um, this is one of the other minis. This is the pen size for the mini version. Those pens are the same size, so then you know how much shadow you'll be getting in that shade, uh, in that mini palette, which I really enjoy that they also give mini options. The Shall We Makeup Mist Witch palette gets my stamp of approval. 
I love it. I'll link down below where you can get it. Thanks again for Shall We Makeup for sending over this palette to play with. I'm loving it so far and I can't wait to play with it even more. Let me know what your favorite look out of the three was and if you have tried the Mist Witch palette so far and what your opinions are on it, of course. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. If you want to see even more from me, my Instagram is linked down below where you can check out all sorts of makeup looks like this. And that's going to be it for me today. And I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Toodles!